for me, acoustic reproduction of the violin is all about fine tuning because the violin has a lot of layers of sound and it's also a very sensitive instrument so you need excellent quality of audio reproduction in order to catch all the little nuances of the violin playing. Um, you know, sometimes I give more pressure with the bow, sometimes I give less pressure and all this is audible if you pick up the sensitive little things with the audio reproduction. Um, for me, I have like a motto about reverb. For me, reverb means emotion. And if you play the violin and add a little bit of reverb, it can go straight to the heart, I believe. For me, the violin almost is like part of my body because I've been practicing the violin for over 31 years now and I cannot separate myself anymore from the violin. It's like my secondary voice or almost part of my body. For me, the perfect sounds means having a balance between having the clarity of the reproduction but still add some reverb for the charm and the easiness of the sound. If the production is too dry, of course you can hear everything very clear, but it loses the elegance. If there is too much reverb, it's not clear enough and you can't hear the details. So for me, it's all about balance. I actually think that fingers do have a memory. As violinists, we sometimes trust our muscle memory because we've been practicing the piece over and over for hours and hours. And sometimes if we get overexcited on stage, we can still rely on the muscle memory of our fingers. Ideally, the muscles, the fingers, the heart and the mind are one unity and you have a good balance between all of these elements. Um, of course, sometimes we have to focus more on just the left hand technique or the right hand technique. Some people have to develop more feelings and some people have to have more structure in their playing, but ideally it's all balanced out. Emotional contact with the orchestra happens mainly through the conductor because the conductor is sort of the advocate or representative of the orchestra and I have to feel a connection that we are sort of on the same wavelength to create a mutual interpretation. First of all, it starts by learning the piece and looking into the score and being truthful and faithful to the score. And then secondary, you add your own personal message to the piece, what you personally have to say, what are your personal life experience that you could express through the music. And then it comes to the performance. In the performance, we usually have a sound check. So that is very important because every room is different. Sometimes we play open air, we have to adjust to open air. Sometimes we play in a very dry hall. Sometimes you play in a church that is very reverby. So we have to adjust our playing to the sound projection. And then in the end, ideally, we forget about all of that and just focus on the emotion. Uh, I expect that the quality of my microphone picks up the little nuances of my playing because that is what is the signature of each performer. Otherwise we can just be robots and it doesn't matter but if you want to hear the personality of the player you need an excellent mic that picks up the details. I have had very good experience working with engineers in Indonesia and I would like to give my support to Saruni Audio. They, good, they do very good quality work and I enjoy collaborating with them.